this is such an awesome moment. I interviewed John Cameron Mitchell. I just talked to him and he's so excited that this show is finally coming out. And of course he was raving about you two. It's her first dramatic role. I think she really knocked it out of the park. I wish I had more scenes with her. That's so nice of him. <laughs> he crushed it as well. Yes. How did um, it feel for you to be doing something on this scale for the first time? I mean, it was a it was a leap for sure. You know, most of the things I do last three minutes, and this lasted eight hours, and uh, so it required a lot more prep than I'm used to. But Kyle was very instrumental in. Um, helping me i just learned so much just watching uh, you and the way you approach a scene yes, and you know uh, how he did it it's scary to to try anything new but you gotta keep trying stuff you know you know what that's a very carol baskin thing she never stops <laughs> yeah. she? That's very true. i will not rest till abusers like joe are kept as far away from animals as possible <laughs> Like you can keep me away from my animals we will see damn right we will what was the transformation moment reaction from you and by that i mean the first time you see yourself in the mirror in the carol wig in the in the garb how did you feel i couldn't access the character on any level until i put on that wig baby man is that hair makes the man and i would just was like yeah. <sighs> yes now i can feel it because she has a mane she has cultivated a mane of her own and um yeah. I felt suddenly so imbued with her spirit. You know, you and move differently too when you had the wig on. When you have a costume, you know, how Carol has kind yeah. of that how she kind of does a little sway with her body. You move completely different with that with the hair. Because oh, you have to do things to accommodate yeah. it. You yeah. know, yeah. you have a you have a, a, a nice mane there. Thank you. I, I <laughs> wondered what the weight of the wig was. That's a lot of hair. It was, you know, it's light, it's 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 fluffy, but it's yeah, it was something. It was. <laughs> I really think he's evil, Howard. I have to get him. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Let's think of something together. Kyle, uh, as she just said, I have all these amazing scenes with you. Um, what was it like to work opposite this woman? One of the most challenging, difficult, extraordinarily. Um, well, because I hit and bite, hit you know. And, yeah, and scratch. Um, we had, it was me. such, such a pleasure. Um, first of all, she's the most available actress, one of the most available actresses I've worked with. Very present, ready to go, very committed, very, very um, uh, intent on the character that she has and what she's doing, but willing to play and improv and move through the scene in a different way, in an unexpected way than what's on the page. Um, so we, we were very creative within our little, our little working space. Um, and we were it was encouraged by the directors. I think they let us do a little play a little bit. Um, yeah. and came up with some wonderful stuff. And she just is, again, she's so brilliant, so inventive. It was exciting. It was sort of like we were stepping off a cliff every time we did a scene, and it was really fun. I mean, well, you too, and we and we danced. I mean, we actually danced as well, but it it felt like a dance. And th their relationship is so beautiful to me in real life, and I it was just so easy to cultivate that with you because it's you're so easy to love. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, you know, I have to ask: Did you speak at all to the real Carolyn Howard in preparing for this? We did not. However, there is so much available on YouTube that they've put there in their own words, and um, sometimes that's even more useful. And so we both did a lot of research and watching them speak for themselves and wow. then use that to create these characters. How will you feel if they watch the show? What would your message to them about it be? Okay. They enjoy it. I hope they enjoy yeah. it, and I hope they see that their love is reflected in it, and that their values are reflected yeah. in it. Yeah, and they're it partners. Would... I mean, they're 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 partners, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they have respect for each other. And even in, when things are cha you know challenging and not challenging, it's like they still value each other, value each other's opinions. Um, it's a it's really a it's really a partnership and and, and a, a loving partnership. I I, was, I think we got that. Mm -hmm. Hope you, hope you see that. <laughs> she's waiting, Kyle. She's waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Please, <laughs> <laughs> I'll lay off. <laughs>
Look, of course, we were all so obsessed with the docuseries when it came out. Were you two both as obsessed initially in quarantine? I watched it. I, I was obsessed with it, yes. I Because I'm obsessed with these people. I'm obsessed with people who are real life characters and these yeah. are larger than life mm. people. And I always need to understand what's underneath what were their childhoods like? What what drives them? What what makes them so obsessed with cats? And what and how are they coping with life using cats? I also wanted to reach deeper and um, and see what was really driving them. And I think that's why we did this show. I actually interviewed Carol for Dancing with the Stars, and it it was a I know it was the but it was a real moment to hear her say, "Hey, all you cool cats and kittens! Hey, all you cool cats and kittens!" What was it like for you to say that line for the first time? Oh my God, it's a nice moment in the script, right? Because you have the, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it takes yeah. a moment for her to find yeah. the right words yes. together. It was they made uh -huh. a, they made a thing out of it. It was good. Yeah. It's different from doing an impression on a sketch show. Um, you can't sort of like do that level of impression the whole time. But with certain lines that were that are now iconic, I just sort of watched YouTube a bunch and tried to. Sail it on through. How many pieces of cat print clothing do you think you wore while filming this show? Our incredible costume designer, Amelia Gabler, just found every one that has been manufactured on this good globe in the last 20 years or whatever. Man, there were a lot of, there were a lot of different lot. pieces. Didn't she source the one? The real one? She Didn't got she the she real shirt like... that uh, Carol wore in the documentary yeah, the, the, in her introduction. Exact replica. And Amazing. It was, it was an incredible sartorial journey that I got to go on. I don't wear cat print in real life. I just wear cat hair <laughs> on my pants and shirts pants and, and shirt. socks and hair and everything I own. Um, Kate, real quick, we do have to ask you about a different project. Uh, you are reuniting with Margot Robbie in the Barbie movie. Uh, oh, can I you mean, amazing. I'm what can you tease luck. anything? What are you excited about for this project? Um, I can only tease that I'm so excited. It's going to be incredible. Uh, Greta Gerwig obviously is an amazing uh, sure. writer and director and Margot is flawless, fabulous, and I'm just so happy to be a part of it. And Kyle, we have to ask you about one of your most iconic roles. The new Dune has come out. Did you see the new Dune and what did you think? I did, I saw it I saw it in Australia. We had a screening in, in Brisbane. I had a, an overwhelming sense of nostalgia, which is sort of odd, mm. listening to the scenes and sort of remembering and, and watching them. And I, I was smiling from ear to ear. It was really, um, you know, uh, it was really fun to watch. When Timothy puts his hand in the box, I'm like, I know that box. That's gonna hurt. Don't do that. But he didn't listen to me, of course, you know. They've been playing the original a lot more on TV now, I've noticed. They have been. I know, it's sort of given it a little bump, which is fun. Fun to go back. Man, we were young. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. my goodness. Long time ago. You still look just oh, as perfect. Thank you, my darling. You don't think I'm too tan? Wow, I, I, lo I love, you two have, you formed your own relationship making this show, haven't you? I love we're it. Buds. We're buds. We're buds. 100%. Yeah. yeah, and John Cameron Mitchell raved so much about the both of you. What was it like to work with him, and how did you react when you first saw him as Joe Exotic? Oh, my wow. gosh. I know. I mean, he really... He got the look, obviously, but John Cameron, I'm, I'm such a fan of his from so long ago, and he's such an incredible performer and philosopher and such a live wire, and I knew he was just going to soar in this role, and he, he did even beyond what I imagined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember hearing that he was cast and going, oh my God, that's absolutely brilliant. Perfect. It's like, yes, done. Mm -hmm. That one you can check off your list. And he delivers 100%. We only had, I only worked with him, we had one, one scene together, um, which was lovely. Uh, we, had a, we had a great time together, and I just wish that we'd had more. He's, he's just so talented. And again, he delivers something, I think, really special in this.